And here I'm almost getting tidying up the guest room. I love this best spread. I've been using this best spread for a very long time, like I'll say eight years. I bought this best spread before I gave birth to my second daughter, and she'll be eight very soon. And it still looks as good as new, though a little bit faded, but the material is so good, it feels so nice on the skin. It is pure cotton and it's a very good best spread. So here I'm fixing up the last bits of arrangement in the room and the place is beginning to take shape. This room is my go-to room for a lot of things. I fix my baby here most of the time. I bathe her here, I clean her up here, we take our naps here and, um, and my children. It's like a go-to room for us down here. We do a lot of stuff here. All we need now is just to sweep out the room and we're done with this segment of the house. <laughs> She's just dancing in front of the camera with her little brother. This one is feeling very bad because I think his daddy shouted on him or something. I think he was being naughty. I think we're about, yes, we're sweeping the room now. So we're almost done with this part. Just to sweep it and I'll move to the next place of the house that needs attention, which is my kitchen. My kitchen needs attention all the time. When you have children like this, you have to like give your kitchen a lot of attention. Because in the space, this, they break this, they <laughs> throw away this, they keep this at the wrong place. So we need we need that that attention at the kitchen area. now and I need to make sandwiches for my little uncle that has been feeling very bad ever since his daddy shouted at him I think he wore his clothes wrongly or but I think he did something naughty anyway and the dad was upset at him and warned him so he felt very bad and normally when he feels bad he comes to the next person that he knows will pamper him, mommy. So here I was trying to make him feel better. I had to clean, wipe, wipe his face, wipe his tears. And I got a peck for that. <laughs> mm. So back to my routine. I was trying to tidy out the sink area where I have some washed dishes and I have some unwashed ones too. So I was trying to tidy out the washed ones, clean them out and put them in the dish rack. I just started this cleaning of dishes lately. It's not something that I do often. I like the fact that I do it because it, it helps to keep my dishes, my kitchen very clean.
here I am cleaning, um, wiping down my dishes that are in the sink. These are already washed dishes. I normally wash them in one part of the sink and keep them in the other part to drain out. It's a system I use to reduce the spillage on the countertops and the ones that drip to the floor too. And it's another system I use so that I won't have um, a lot of water under the tray that is under the dish rack. You know, that can be, it can sometimes stay still in case you forget them. I hardly do, but my teenage daughter can be very, very um, ignorant sometimes and she could allow that to sit for days and by the time I'm doing a cleaning during the weekend, I just get so upset. So I employ this method lately, like for the last three to four months now, I've been using this cleaning method and it has been working very well for me. It is not a method that we were used to initially, but I just employed it lately and I've really been loving the method of using the, the towels to clean the dishes and it, it works very, very well for me. Here I'm trying to clean my sink very well. You know, when you wash dishes and there are some of this little food debris that goes into the sink drain and sink traps, some of them get trapped there for some time and if you don't use a lot of water or even hot water to flush it down, it stays there and it gives you this, gives out this stale smell. So I have learned to always clean the drains at intervals. I pour hot water late at night, sometimes very early hours of the morning and sometimes I use lime, as in fresh lime, I just cut it open and I pour into the trap, so I use it to disinfect and to kill the smell that comes out from there. It actually works very well. Another way you can use is to use baking soda and vinegar, or you just use only vinegar, you can spray in there, it helps too. It also helps at the countertops. So here I'm actually pouring out, pouring in water into the traps after I've used a pipe to like tug at those small hole areas a couple of times and cleaning the sink area. This sink is not my favorite sink. The positioning in the kitchen was wrong. The, um, the way it's too close to the window and too close to the wall is so, so wrong. The people that did this arrangement didn't do it well. And this is small uncle coming to take the last part of his sandwich. He feels so much better. I just wanted him to eat that. Then he should go and take his bath for the evening. Then we'll serve him dinner and I think we're good to go for bed. Uh, good to go to bed for another school night. So this is basically my routine most weekdays. In fact, most days, this is what I, I, I do basically almost on a daily basis. Though there are other routines that I do like. Um, I have a nine-month-old baby that takes a lot of my time, a whole lot of my time. She can be very fussy sometimes and she can be, she can really, really want a lot of attention. Now, this is my kitchen after I'm done for the day. To me, it looks a little bit cluttered, but we're getting there little by little. I'm trying to see how I can be able to make it look better, like put some curtains on the window area and one or two things. But the most important thing is that I keep it neat and the meals that I made here are made with lots and lots of love. Thank you very much for watching. God bless. Bye-bye.